And uh, we are joined by um, one of the greats <laughs> at uh, at Dakota College of Botano this morning. Um, uh, on the news that we, we know that uh, Coach Johnson is retiring this year after 50-some years of coaching, 53 years of coaching, I think, 52, 53 years of coaching. We still have Mr. Travis Rybczynski. Uh, still on the payroll next season, and hopefully many, many, many years beyond. Good morning to Mr. Ribchinsky. Uh Coach Ribby. Good morning. How are you today? I'm doing great. Doing great. First off, congratulations. Hey, I'm, I'm not on the – I didn't get a contract for next year yet, so we, we're not well, – we don't know about the – Confidence is high, Next though. year, so hopefully it works Confidence out. is high. Last year I didn't have one at this time either, so oh. I think hopefully we're okay. And you, coach, coach-wise, you did better this year than you did last year. Um, maybe I don't know. <laughs> you know, you know. I don't know. We had a pretty good record last year, though. You, too. you did, no doubt, no doubt so, about it, no doubt about it. Yeah. But uh, last year, at this time, you weren't able to say things like uh, "Coach of the Year." <laughs> I, well, let's let's be honest here. Sure. Let's let's, let's really quick. <laughs> let's reflect on the past season and some of the awards that you have gotten, and we'll we'll get into the team at, after a bit too. But uh, what what did you get? You had coach, coach of the century. What coach, coach the decade, coach lifetime? What? Well, I was uh, ACHA, our, our um, governing body, recognized me, and my peers, I guess, voted on it, um, was Coach of the Year for ACHA Division Two. All right, now, that's nev- you've, never, you've never seen that award before. You've never gotten that recognition, have you? No. No? It's pretty big. Yeah, it was cool. It was cool. I, I even I got to go down to Florida to get the award, so um, that was neat, too, because it was cold here, so uh, oh, nice. nice there, so it uh, worked out good, but yeah, it was. Uh, it's a good honor, and like um, like I told our guys, it was a team effort, you know? Of course. Um, we had such a good, uh, good group of guys, mm-hmm. and that it made it fun coming to work every day, and uh, you know, we're going to miss that team. Uh, obviously, uh, you... You would without that team, I mean, without that group of guys, and without that core of athletes, um, it would it could have could have been a whole different season. Oh, for it sure, could have yeah. been. And I no. mean, yeah, obviously it is a team effort because without a great team, obviously the the the, the wins wouldn't have been there. The uh, tremendous success over the past year might not have been there either. Yeah, and some, it takes a, you know, takes, it takes a village, man. Well, sometimes, uh, yeah, it seemed like everything aligned for us. You know, the the one thing about COVID, um, a, a lot of guys came back for an extra year because yeah. they were offered it, and you know they wanted a better college hockey experience. So, um, mm-hmm. you know, like I say, we had ten guys who could have been captains on our team this year. So, uh, we had great leadership, and uh, yeah, it was a super super fun year, and um, hopefully, you know. We can keep her going next year. I think with the uh, like, like you said, you know, with with the leadership uh, on on the actual ice itself, you know, these these gentlemen want to succeed as much as you'd may, maybe may, oh, maybe you wanted a little bit more, maybe whatever. But but at the end of the day, you want the wins and you want you want the team to succeed. Yeah, and you know, actually, uh, I'll just say like our team after we lost out in Bismarck last year in the, at Nationals to go to the Final Four. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we lost that lo- last game at Round Robin, and, and you know, guys in the room after the game were saying, this isn't happening next year, and they were pretty focused. And, uh, you know, we, we reached our goal. So as a coach yeah. and a coaching staff, we were just excited to, to make it there. And, you know, we did it in overtime on that last Round Robin game. So it was, it was fun. I watched the goal here last week, and... Um, it was like wow, that was pretty cool. So yeah, right, like a, watching a movie, wasn't it? Yeah, and it was it was trending, I think, on TikTok or whatever social media we want to go go with um, or Twitter. Um, you know how many see, people have watched it is is uh, in the thousands. So that, that's pretty cool too. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, congratulations on on the award and congratulations on the season. Um, other things going on at the college, obviously. Uh, graduation time is coming up fast. Yeah, we have uh, last week of classes this week. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, a lot of, uh, you know, it's just winding down, and it's it's sort of a little weird because with our weather last couple of weeks, you know, being cool, it didn't seem like spring. So right. then all of a sudden it's like, boom, we have finals coming up. So uh, finals week or this week or next week and uh, graduation next Friday. So it's, crazy. it's, uh, it's been a, you know, I always say after Easter, especially when Easter is in, 
in April, middle of April. Um, it just goes by quick. So um, yeah, so another year down, down, uh, coming down to the wire here. Yeah, and I think I think at the end of the day, I mean, I know that um, uh, Coach Johnson's gone, and uh, Director Migler is retiring this year too, right? Yeah, you know, and uh, you know, we just want to shout out to Coach Johnson. He's uh, he's been there, I think, twenty years. I think he's coach nineteen at the college. So, okay. um, you know, I'm a, I'm a couple years ahead of him. But uh, what a what a great guy, great person, um, and great coach. So we're we're gonna miss him, and uh, he'll he'll hopefully come around and say hi once in a while. And uh, but he's a good mentor to all us coaches up there, and uh, you know, great great career he had so uh it's it's unfortunate we lose him as a coach but um you know he's gonna enjoy uh just going to basketball and watching yeah. and not not worrying about uh cold bus rides you uh you're losing a great coach but you are gaining a new number one fan hey that's Love it. perfect Is yeah that right yeah and yeah. uh yeah of course a big shout out to uh, to uh, uh dr migler as well yeah dr migler uh and uh jackie they're gonna be uh leaving us and uh you know dr migler has did a great job up there mm -hmm. i think he's five or six years he was up there and uh you know we have the new cafeteria probably yeah. on his thing and his watch and the old main reno renovation and uh you know the nice part about dr migler i think he's always does what's best for the students mm -hmm. and uh you know I, I don't know if a lot of the students realize that but uh you know he always looks out for the students so uh you know we'll miss him but congratulations on a good retirement and yeah. his wife jackie who um you know was leading the education program there and uh you know we're, we're gonna miss both of them they did a uh, they were a tremendous asset to our community they uh, they were both great champions for for the college yep. and and the area and they'll come back and visit too I think oh, yes, you know when we when we're down by uh, you know by in the uh, south uh, southeast area of uh, North Dakota there you know when we go play Jamestown I, I they'll probably be in the stands so. oh I'm sure they will so it'll be uh, it'll be good to see them. So looking forward, um, like you don't have a contract, but we're pretty sure. I mean, we're, we're, we, you'll be back next year. Looking forward to next season. What do you uh, what What do you want to see? Uh, you know what? We just want to continue our, our good culture and and you know guys uh, getting better every day is what my motto is. And you know, on and off the ice. So mm -hmm. we're just gonna you know I don't say we're rebuilding because we lose like fifteen guys, but we're reloading. So. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it'll be a good challenge. To get some new, uh, new faces on campus, and you know, it was. Uh, I think we had nine players who were there. You know, three years plus. So okay. Um, you know, and that's pretty rare for our school. Um, so you know, they'll be missed. But I just personally want to thank all our, our graduates and uh, you know players we had this year, but especially our grad graduates. You know, for those kids who went through the COVID stuff. Um, you know, what a, I don't know, what a way to be a, be a college student during that tough time, right? Right. And, and they sacrificed a lot. And, and for us to continue playing hockey and going to school and doing well and um, just a tremendous group of young men, and uh, I'm going to really miss them. Yeah, and they're going to miss you too. I mean, I, I, I know for a fact that, you know, <laughs> a lot of these students, as they move on, they're going to remember this time very fondly. Yeah, and, and that's just the Botano community. You know, it's, yeah. it's uh, great. Uh, we had our... 2007 team inducted in the Hall of Fame a few weeks back, and uh, it was a great time. And you know, guys just love coming back to Botno and checking out the old spots. And uh, uh, it, it's uh, you know, I know a lot of people, a lot of students, especially the hockey guys, have fond memories of Botno, and it's a place they'll never forget. It's uh, it, the college itself, the area itself. It, boy, it once once it once it latches onto you, it doesn't let go. Yeah, it's uh, you know. Like, I'm proof of that, right? I came here in 1996 and um, as a student and said I'll never live in a small town. And look at this. I'm, I'm what, 2001 we moved back. So, yeah. uh, so it's a great community. Yeah, it is. And we're happy to have you. We're lucky to have you. Oh, ah, thanks. Yeah. And, we're, and we're lucky to have the college, too. So Yeah, no, and, and uh, it's, yeah, it goes both ways. So All right. Well, Coach of the Year, thank you very much. Appreciate <laughs> your time this morning. Yeah, thanks. And, you know, you, you guys do a great job here promoting the college. We really appreciate it. And, uh, you know, good luck to all those students there. Study hard and make sure that uh, get those assignments in. You know, I had <laughs> class yesterday, and it's like, come on, guys. It's 
get those assignments in and uh you know we appreciate all the students up there for uh they they make our uh campus a great place exactly well couldn't have said it better myself so all right give me that high five all right thank you all right 837 42 degrees we've got